rudiments are the DNA of drumming. They're a collection of patterns and subdivisions that allow us to express ourselves on the drum set. As drummers, we have these rhythms and these sounds that are happening in our head, and we want to move them and express them around the drum set. But without rudiments, we can't do that properly. The analogy that we use as far as music, drumming, rudiments, being a language is spot on. Rudiments, that's your vocabulary words. It allows you to get your point across. Obviously, eventually, you're going to develop your own slang and your own way to speak on the instrument. But in the beginning, you have to have your rudiments down to have your vocabulary down. I think it's natural to think that practicing as fast as you can go will build your speed, and that's actually not true when it comes to pattern speed. All right, so let's start out with double strokes at about one E and a two E and a nice and slow and. No matter what you're doing, your brain is just saying, okay, you want me to memorize that? I'm gonna memorize that. So if you play as fast as you can and it's not perfect and it's kind of sloppy, your brain doesn't know that it's sloppy. It just says, cool, we'll memorize that. You want to care about every note, the dynamics, the overall intensity of how you're playing. You have to play slow and perfect over and over and over again, allowing your brain to just accept right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, until all of a sudden you're thinking of other things. You're thinking of anything other than right, right, left, left. And you just look down and you realize, oh, it's on autopilot. And that's because the muscle memory has kicked in. Your brain has memorized the motor function and you can now play it freely all over the drum set. Get rid of the rights, get rid of the lefts, get rid of the one e and a two e and a, and eventually it's just a sound. One of the questions I get asked about a lot from my students is, do I need to practice my rudiments? Because I'm gonna be a metal drummer, or I'm gonna be a jazz drummer, or I'm really into funk, do I really need to work on my rudiments? The answer is yes. No matter how you wanna sing a song, you're gonna to need to learn the language to make up the lyrics of that song. The style doesn't matter. I mean, the style creates the intensity and the slang that you put on this language, but you still have to know your core rudiments. Even though it may seem boring to work on a pad, it's going to make the drum set more fun. The more things you can say, the more you enjoy speaking. So yes, we all have to work on our rudiments.